The Respimat Soft Mist Inhaler is a novel propellant-free liquid inhaler that contains multiple doses and represents a new category of inhaler devices. The aerosol spray is released from the inhaler more slowly and for a longer duration than with the meter dose inhalers or MDIs. In addition, the Respimat contains a high fraction of very fine particles of medicine that results in higher amounts of drug deposition in the lungs with less being deposited in the mouth and throat. Let's watch as Mary explains and demonstrates to Mrs. Ryan how to use the Respimat Soft Mist Inhaler. Hi, Mrs. Ryan. I'm Mary. It's very nice to meet you. Hi, Mary. And I'm here today to show you how to use a new medication delivery device. Okay. It's called the Respimat. Mm -hmm. You have one, and it actually comes in two different pieces. Great. Okay, the delivery device and the medication okay. container. So let's set the medication container aside for now. Mm -hmm. The first thing we'll need to do, do is to, um, to load it, the medication into it mm -hmm. and to prime it before okay. you actually take a dose of medication. All right. So in order to do that, you hold the top portion here. And there's a little gray lever that you'll push. Yeah, right here. And slide the plastic off. Okay. And just set it aside. Mm -hmm. And at that point, actually, we can go ahead and do this. Um, on the label there is a place for you to put a discard date. Okay. And that date should be three months from today. Okay. It's important for patients to add three months to the date they open the medication and write this discard date on the Respimat device. Okay, and in order to load the medication, you'll take this little device with the small top, the mm -hmm. top that goes inside. There's a little pin that okay. will actually, it's a little, hard to push in. Use the heel of your hand there. There yeah. you go. And when it's loaded properly, it won't really be flush with the device. No, it's not. It's just sticking out a little, about an eighth and of an okay. inch. That's perfect. Loading the medication canister into the Respimat device may be difficult for some patients with poor dexterity or pain in their hands. These patients may require assistance from their pharmacist or a family member to properly load the medication canister into the Respimat device. Now we need to put the cover back on the same way. Okay, line, line it right it up. back up with that lever. Yes, and, and you heard the click. And that yeah. means it's back on. So um, I talked about priming it, and mm -hmm. the way that you do that is um, to twist the bottom portion of it, holding the top part, twisting it about halfway, and you hear a click. In fact, you can see on here there's a turn with arrows that tells you which direction to right. turn it in. I need direction, thank you. <laughs> and it has, so now, now, the, now the medication is loaded. Mm -hmm. So in order to prime it, we'll need to take off the mouthpiece, holding it away from your face, Okay. Not in the direction of your eyes because you don't want to get any of the medication in your eye. Okay. And you might accidentally trigger it and it would a mist would come out and, and might hit you in the face. So holding it away from you. This device contains medication that may be irritating if it comes in direct contact with the patient's eyes. If a patient accidentally depresses the gray button when he or she is opening the cap, the spray may be unintentionally discharged and come in contact with the eyes. Therefore, it is good to instruct patients to open the cap while pointing the device away from their face. Okay. And then pressing this gray lever on top. Mm-hmm. Oh, mist. And you can see the mist. Yeah. And the first time you get this, you'll need to do that four times. So let's do it one more time so that you get the real feel of it. Okay. okay. So I twist it like that. Twist it. Open the mouthpiece or the cover and press the gray button and you can see the mist again. Okay. And then two more times. And you would do it two more times. When patients first load the medicine into the Respimat device and if they have not used the device for more than 21 days, then they should prime the device four times as described in the video. However, if a patient has not used the device for more than three days, he or she should prime it only once. 
This ensures that the patient will actually receive the medicine appropriately. So in order to take the actual dose of medication, I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you, and then I'll let you do a, a return demonstration for okay, me. Okay, good. Okay. So in the very, we've already got it loaded, the medication is already loaded, and I'll let you go through that when you actually do your return demonstration. But again, we'll want to load the dose by turning and clicking. You hear the click? Mm -hmm. Open the top exposing the mouthpiece. Now there's these little um, openings on the side here, mm -hmm. and air vents, and when you actually put this in your mouth, you want to make sure that you don't push it in too far into your mouth or into your lips so that it's covering those air vents. Oh, okay. okay? It's important to emphasize to patients that they not cover these air vents with their fingers or mouth so that the medicine can be properly delivered to the lungs. So you'll breathe out emptying your lungs and you'll hold it like so with the gray button on top. You'll put this mouthpiece into your mouth mm -hmm. and you'll inhale slowly and deeply like you're sipping soup. Okay. Okay. You'll hold your breath for 10 seconds and then remove the mouthpiece from your mouth, cover it, and then exhale. Okay. So let me show you how that's done. Load the medication, mm -hmm. open the cap, exhale, okay, now do you think you can do that? I guess I will try. It's important for the healthcare professional to describe and demonstrate how to use the medication delivery device correctly. It is also critical for Mrs. Ryan to perform return demonstration and show Mary how she will use the device at home. So I take it from... Let me give, hang on just one second. Let me get you a new device here so that you can... I gotta do it all... You have to start from the very beginning. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, um, I need to take this bottom piece off. Wow, that's a little sticky. Yeah, the, it's the first couple of times it yeah. seems to be a little... Okay, and I'm going to put three months from today yes. on here. Um, now I need to put the medication in. Yes. Put the canister in. So I put it in here and push it. You can also maybe use the tabletop. Oh, you got it. Wow, okay. Uh, so the medication is in. Now I put the bottom back on. Yes. Okay. Uh, now I need to prime it. Um, I do this four times. The first time that you The first it. time. Mm -hmm. So I turn it. And then prime it like that. Yes. And I do that three more times. Correct. Okay. Oops. <laughs> we got to put the cap back on it before you load it so you don't accidentally get a dose. Okay, and two more times. Yes. Okay, and now that I've done it four times, I am ready to take the medication? Correct. The patient demonstrates how to prime the device correctly for the healthcare professional. It's very important to provide feedback to the patient so that she learns to use the device correctly. However, notice that Mary does not tell Mrs. Ryan the next steps. Instead of coaching throughout the demonstration, Mary waits patiently while Mrs. Ryan recalls each of the steps and Mary provides feedback throughout this process. Okay, so I twist it again. The medication. Open it. Now 
Exhale. Exhale. Good job. <laughs> I have a couple of more things I'd like to show you, though. Okay. Did that feel comfortable for you? I think so, yes. Okay. On the side here, uh, in the, on the label, is a dose indicator. Yes. And there's, it, you can see the green and you can see the red. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you're in the green, you have doses up through 30, 30 doses. Mm -hmm. Once you get into the red, you have about seven days left. And okay. so you'll want to make sure that you get your refill okay. at that time. When you, and you, then you'll dispose of this, this entire device. Okay. And once you get your new uh, device, then you'll need to load it and prime it just like you did today. Okay. 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 As Mary explains, when the dose indicator pointer is in the green, the patient has plenty of doses of medication left in the device. However, once the pointer moves into the red, there are only about seven days worth of medication left, which means that it's time to refill the medicine. Once the pointer is at the bottom of the red, there are no doses left. The inhaler device locks and it should be discarded. Um, probably the other thing would be cleaning it. Most people like to clean their oh, yeah. devices and you'll need to do this at least once a week or as, as often as you like. Mm -hmm and you'll just take a damp cloth and wipe around the mouthpiece and you can even do the inside that little silver piece that's inside okay. there you can even clean it that way you do not want to put it into a, a sink of water or underneath the faucet to clean oh okay okay and then just cover it and it's ready to be stored okay. and for the next dose all right you think you got it? Are there any um, other questions? I have it right now. Uh, make sure I've got a phone number so I'll know how to reach you if I should have a question, but I think I've got it down now. Great. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. In summary, the Respimat Soft Mist Inhaler is a new liquid inhaler that requires several steps for patients to use the device correctly. The medication canister has to be loaded into the device prior to initial use. If this is difficult for the patient, he or she should ask for help from the pharmacist or a family member or friend. The inhaler should be discarded three months after the medication canister is first loaded into the device. Before using the device for the first time, it should be primed four times, being careful not to accidentally discharge the medication into the eyes. When taking each dose of medication, Patients should breathe in slowly so that the medicine can be delivered deep into the lungs. Finally, patients should clean the device by wiping the mouthpiece and the metal parts inside the mouthpiece with a clean cloth at least once a week.